this bar is happening. Look at this. Prieka. It's pretty American of you. Yes. Nostrovia. Oh, the pigeons know what's good. Don't find this in Florida. Next time I come here, I'm bringing bagels with me. Gas cook it, baby. Cook it with gas. There has to be a fire, you want it to be on a rainy day. It's a very windy, very blustery. It's not cold though. I mean, I brought this with me and I took it off because uh, I start to get hot. But look at these buildings, guys. Look at this architecture and, you know, it's almost got like that castle top to it on the corners and uh, the old glass block and these uh, brick arches. The sun is coming out. What is this, Florida? Fruits and veggies. Look at the colors on these fruits and veggies, guys. Eggplant. What's in here, baby? It used to be bigger. Yeah. This is a meat department. Oh, it's locked. Nothing going on in there. Okay. Toto, I don't think we're in Miami anymore. Yeah, the sun came out. It's not so bad. You have to always carry an emergency pair. All right. That was interesting. What are those barrels over there with the tops on them? No longer in use, I'm guessing. But it looks like uh, it's under reconstruction here. This place. Oh, Latvian pigeons. Hello, Latvian pigeons. I know your distant cousins, the New York pigeons of Central Park. Baby, look, we're back in Vero Beach. It's the Driftwood Inn. Doesn't it look like it? So we're just walking in the street here. Here's an old apartment building. And you can see it was built in 1911. And there's buildings like this all throughout here. Like baby, this for instance, look. Look at this door. That's a door. Ladies and gentlemen, like it's like a castle. Here's another one. Yeah. Just just a, an apartment Imagine complex here. How old is this? Yeah, door? look at this door. Look at this. Does it? Yeah. See the knockers on that door? What? These little these little alleys here, baby, that lead to the some of the neighborhoods. Oh. Like, look at this, guys. Oh. This is interesting. Don't find this in Florida. It's like, I don't know, is that like an abandoned house back there? Look at that. Just, you know, when I'm in a farm land, I like to check out the nooks and crannies. Another thing that I noticed here, baby, is that the street names are not on street signs most of the time. They're on the side of the building. That is the street name. Marias Iela. Iela means street. You want to see what it's like walking down a typical street? Here in Riga, Latvia. Oh, we got another YouTuber here for the camera. The real deal right there. 
So you see these buildings here. Riga has more Art Nouveau architecture than any other city throughout Europe. A lot of people wonder about that. How do you spot it? How can I tell an Art Nouveau building? Look at this. So this is an example of the Art Nouveau architecture and it's very ornate. You can tell just by looking at it with all the work and time that was put into the artistry of the building. Not just building something that's functional, but building something that's beautiful and a piece of artwork. I mean, look at the facade of this with the face and all the gildedness around it. But if you look at the top of the building, it's not quite a weather vane. Right here at the uh, top of that cone-shaped roof, you can see a cat staring down at you. So if you want to know how to spot an Art Nouveau building, what they say is, well, you'll know it when you see it. And some people were saying, ah, there's, there's like no young people in Riga. And I'll tell you what, I don't know. I, from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of young people here. Baby, how about that hotel? Let's go in there and check it out. Long story short, we're gonna have to get another hotel. Our Airbnb isn't for our whole trip here. So I see this looks pretty uh, lacking it. Le Chevalier Palais Hotel. So, we need to change our living situation because our Airbnb is running out, so. Hello. Hello. Can you show us a room that we could live? Yeah. You have like a nice room, like a suite with a view, something with a good view? Or um, maybe show us two rooms. rooms. With a view, yeah, but they are unavailable for this period of time. Because okay. they are already booked. I gotcha. Oh, just like a sitting room? Oh, wow, guys. Look at this. Look at all these mirrors and glass. It's incredible. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Yeah. It's like, you know, those watches where you could see through the case and you could see all the inner workings of the watch. It's kind of like that in the hotel. So for the region, right? Yeah, man, they're getting a hurricane right now. That hurricane, bad storm. It's hitting the Gulf Coast of Florida. First room, it's mm -hmm. we call it uh, the charm room. Okay. This type of room is the quietest one. Oh, it's very cozy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How much is this one? Do you know? Uh, it will be including the breakfast around 100, 120. Again, depends on the day of the week. 100, 120 euros per day. Yeah, per okay. night. Mm -hmm. So we hold an event from time to time. One is Parisian type of room. So it's pretty almost same as uh, the charm, the previous one I showed you, but a little bit smaller. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, you can feel the French you yeah, know, sure. influence on it. It's, yeah, uh, it's very provincial, part of very Hong regal. Kong. So, yeah, there is our... Okay, part. what is your name? Alexandros. Alexandros, nice to meet you, Terry. And nice Svetlana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Something's going up here. Looks like a new business center. By the way, the sun is out. What is it, a hotel? Yeah. Link Hotel Riga. Yeah, you can see they're, uh, they're putting the windows in here. Yeah. A lot of new construction here in Riga. Good to see. It's very busy though. What's the penalty for jaywalking in Riga? So she's telling me this is a mall. Let's check it out. 
I'm trying to remember if I saw this mall in my research. Oh wow. Okay, let's go. She's looking for a bathroom. What's through here? Oh wow, look at this. I like the lights. Looks like a disco. <laughs> so these are paid toilets. You gotta pay 20 cents to take a leak. Best bargain in town. Oh, Americans, here we go again, infiltrating. The mall's here. KFC. It's finger licking good. Do they even know where Kentucky is here? This the train station? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I wanna. I want to see, there's a, there's a, there's a place here that has um, Soviet stuff on the wall. I just can't remember where it was. It's the train station, guys. Look, you can see all the ports of call. Sloka, Helgava, Skulte, Segulda. That's a uh, city here in Latvia that has a lot to see. So guys, don't forget, Latvia was occupied by the Soviet Union up until and through 1991 when they finally got back their independence. And so this was built during Soviet times and it is a very Soviet train station. I'm gonna look for some still existing relics in here after World War II. A lot of Europe got pretty well carved up and Soviet Union spread their dominance throughout. And Latvia was part of their expansion. There, over there, you buy tickets for a train. Oh, right there at the, ticket, at the ticket booth, yeah. Here is a schedule, which uh, teaches the train goes. So here you go, this is where you buy your tickets. You have the information here to figure out your schedule and where you're going. Yeah. So this Lido, it's a chain that they have here. It's very popular. It's Latvian food. It's kind of like the Latvian Golden Corral. So they may not allow me to do this, but I'm gonna try. Check this place out. Salads. Look at this stuff, guys. Oh my god. It smells great, too. Oh, can't do it? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. What? Alright, so we're gonna exit the station, guys. And we're gonna make our way to the largest market in all of Europe. That's not an exaggeration. One thing I will say, baby, about a lot of the establishments here, they're certainly not very YouTuber friendly. I got, I got kicked out. Anyway. I tried to do a video for you in that restaurant last yeah. year. There we and the lady told me that you are not allowed. Yeah, they, but I, I've already run into that several times. Hold on, it's getting a little dark. A lot of times it's like the New York subways. You get folks that come here and uh, and play music. Entertain the masses as they pass through underground. I would imagine we're uh, bypassing the street overhead right now. He sounds good, but you know what? There's a great echo chamber in here. I would sound good in here too, right? Me, 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 me. the most expensive supermarket. There is nice supermarket inside where you can find French cheese, uh, different European cheese. And Stockman. So cool. We'll have to check that out before we leave.
Just go through this overpass. And there it is. The Riga Central Market. This is, so what you're looking at here, guys, is construction. See, baby, and I know this. I'm gonna teach you something now. This is, this is the new railroad station that they're building. Look at this. Look at all this construction going on here. Did you see the size of that hole in there? In the ground? My goodness. There's a better perspective of it from here. Look at this, they're putting the stairs in. The Central Market, again, this is the largest market in all of Europe. Hold on, I'm gonna stop right here and show you guys these incredible structures. There's four of them. One, two, three, four, starting right here. We'll start, we'll start in here. They're connected, by the way, and we'll just walk inside. But what's really incredible about the buildings themselves is you can almost kind of guess by looking at them. These buildings used to be Zeppelin hangars. That's right. During World War I, the Germans were here and they built these hangars to house their Zeppelins. So I want to look at the buildings from the outside to begin with. Looking for any kind of exterior markings on what used to be a Zeppelin hangar and is now a food market. I mean, they, they may have previously had some markings on this building that they have removed I could see and I don't know if it's just from father time or something that was removed but you can see right there on that column something was peeled off yeah remember guys we're not talking about World War II we're talking about World War One. these things were used outside here is where the market starts this is where they have all the fruits and vegetables some beautiful cherries look at those blackberries raspberries blueberries every color under the sun so they're from moldova which is another country here it's not part of the baltics but um is it it's it's no it used to be part of the soviet union too it's no longer they also have their independence now yeah, look at the colors on this stuff guys and i'm in the shade here, it's it's harder to get an idea of how beautiful they are and vibrant these colors are. Pomidore. Ask her what's the sweet fruit that looks like that. Gordo, do you have it? No, what's here to that? What are these? Currants, maybe? Yeah. Some big mushrooms. Here's one that's sliced open. You can just see the size of it. Wow, beautiful. It's too hot now. 15? Yeah, no, 15. Okay. It's nice. Thank you so much. Oh, look at the flowers, guys. How beautiful. Okay, guys, I switched to hand cam here. From what I've seen, they got roving security here that will not let you video, so I'm going to try my best. So guys, I wanted to show you the inside. You could see how this once housed Zeppelins or what we call blimps, right? I think they used to call them dirigibles back in those days too. But look at the structures. Um, in Pompano Beach in Florida, we have the Goodyear blimp and it looks very much like the facility, the hangar that holds the blimp. So it's, it's great that they preserve that history here.
Okay, so in here, the first one, it looks like it's more of like the retail, clothing, art for the walls, uh, jewelry, clothing, and that. So to me, the real draw for this place, I like the food. And so let's go check that out now. Again, so that was one hangar that we're walking through here to this other one. You can see this place, it's an entire dumi. They have all kinds of sausages and um, delicatessen meats. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty busy, baby. There's a lot going on. So here you go, they sell that balsam here, among other types of alcohol liquor. There's the ball, black balsam. Okay, guys, this is this is it right here. This is like the main part of this place. I want you guys to see this, it's incredible. Like this whole casing here. It's all different kinds of cheeses. Look at this stuff, guys. Wow. Baby, that's cheese? Yeah. Look at that. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, garlic cheese. Garlic cheese, baby. Are those potato, baby? They look like potato knishes. What is that, Bellini, baby? Yeah. It's like a blintz, like a Russian blintz. Look at all this cheese, guys. The cheese paradise. And there's more over here. Look at this. Wow. Let's get some. No, I don't want spicy. Sweet and sour. sour? Sweet and sour. Okay, I don't want spicy. No spicy. So some sweet and some sour. Sour. Wow. Thank you. There it is. Wow. There's a line too. What's the most popular one that you have? Chicken? Yeah. Okay. I'm, a, I'm more of a beef and a lamb or a pork. How about pork and beef? Okay. Thank you. Man, there is no place to sit in here. Jeez Louise, back there. Ready for this? Deep fried goodness. He goes nothing. Mmm. That looks like halva, which is like a Mediterranean um, Dessert, it's really sweet and delicious. Look at this stuff, you guys. I mean, we can't get this at home, that's for sure. What'd you get? Goat cheese. Goat cheese? Look at this stuff. Like dried fruits and stuff. Oh my God, all these nuts. I told you guys it was the largest market in Europe, and now you see why. We've only seen half of it. What? What do we got? Donuts. Yeah. Are very popular here in Asia. Donuts? Yeah. Look at these things. What is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to try one of those. Yeah, yeah let's get one of those. That looks really cool. Oh, wow. No, it's expensive. Ooh, it's hot. Nice, thank you. It's hot, big, yeah. and delicious. Hot, big, and delicious. My three favorite words. Handmade. Handmade, better yet. With your hands, with love. Look at these little pizzas they got here. Okay, guys, um, let me grab a beer to wash this thing down. Oh, we can sit here, baby. Okay. Can I have a beer? 
What what's your what's your best beer? I'll take your recommendation. More interesting, more classic. What do you mean by interesting? Beet, honey beer with lingonberries, cranberries, mudmire, meadow sweet, linden hair oh, flowers. Wow. Oh wow. It's 3,400 years old. Recipe, oh, wow. interpretation. I gotta try it now. I gotta try it. Oh, look at this. She didn't wait for me. How is it? Cut me off a little piece, will you? Look at that. Wow. Come on, baby, fix it, fix it. Look at that. Oh man. And I love the glass. Who is this on the uh, on the glass? Our brewery logo. Oh, that's your brewery logo. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, this is an uh, ancient pagan word. Really? That stands for Nobel Pagan Warrior before Christians came. Well, can you tell me about this? You said it's how old? The recipe? They found out this drink is 3,400 years old. The uh, ingredients is Beet, honey, lingonberry, cranberry, mudmire, meadow sweet, linden hair flower. So it's very healthy. It's good for me. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you. Good medicine. The best medicine. Like the balsam, right? The balsam also. All right. Cheers. Okay, guys. We'll start with the beer. With my knight here staring you right in the face. Cheers. Onward and upward. You know what? I'm gonna tell him. I gotta tell you, brother. You said it was interesting. It's the most interesting beer I ever tasted in my life. Bar none. Here's to that. What's it called? The Witch of Life. Oh, The Witch. The Witch of Life. Oh, okay. Because in the grave, there was the drink was from the girls. Ah, I got gotcha. you. I like it already. You know what, baby? I know you, a lot of times you say no. You're gonna wanna taste that. Very interesting. Um, let me describe it to good. you. Yeah. I get, you said there was honey in there, right? I could yeah. taste a little bit very of the honey. Good. It's very sweet, it but it's almost like pomegranate, pomegranate like sweet type. You know what I mean? Oh, like a little bit sour. It it's got a little like sourness a, to it. It tastes like yeah, kombucha. It's from the berries. From the berries, yeah. Mm -hmm. The sourness. The lingonberries, cranberries. It is not sweet berries. It's wow. Really sour berries. It's fantastic. Thank you. All right. Here we go. What is this thing called? Chiburiakim. What she said. Here goes nothing. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so good. I don't know if you've ever, in a Chinese restaurant, have what, what are called um, scallion pancakes, which are just, like, to die for. This is like that, but, a, but more substantial with the meat in it. Oh. Oh, it's out of this world. The meat has like a sort of a tanginess to it. It's really good. Fried dough. It's so crispy and moist. I could eat that whole thing right now. This is the best beer I've ever tasted. The best beer she ever tasted. It reminds me kombucha, I don't know why. Of course, she's only tasted three beers. All right, I'm going in for more of this. This thing is pretty substantial, guys. I think what they do is they mix the meat, the beef and chicken together into form one patty. And um, it's so tender and juicy and delicious. Mm. Guys, I'm telling you, come to Latvia. This is a cool place. And there's a lot close by you could... You get in other countries, you know. You go across the Baltic Sea, but you and you got. Never, you don't never find beer like this in America. She's right about that. We're close to Sweden. We already know we're close to Poland. We're close to uh, Denmark. Um, then you have the other Baltic countries, Estonia and Lithuania, on both sides. Latvia being in the middle is is, is um, pretty fortuitous. Mm. Fried dough with meat inside of it? Come on, what gets better than that? Oh, the pigeons know what's good. So uh, we're continuing onward here. Look at this. It's just, it's like a maze, guys. It's incredible. I love it. 
Okay, they got a WC over here. WC stands for water closet. That's what they call the bathrooms here. You have to pay 50 cents. 50 cents? What do poor people do? Pay on the floor? Fifty cents to go to the bathroom. Okay, I'm in. I tell you what, when you gotta go, you spare no expense. That was the best fifty cents I ever spent in my life. Okay, by the way, I found that place. Remember, I was telling you about the uh, the place that had the, the Soviet like yeah 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 stuff? where it's right here it's right there. Come on, I gotta go in there. I gotta show them where. Watch, watch how Soviet this place is, guys. Watch this. What's right here? It's called Silties und Dilets. They probably have what you want, baby. This, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that, guys. Hello, how are you? Good. So cool, look at this Soviet style sink, guys. Does it still work? Yes, it does. Wow, and there's a Soviet phone too. Did you guys know about this stuff? It's world famous. Can I pick it up? Hello, steam room. All the Frankfurt is ready? has the writing on it. Look at that. Incredible. The old tile wall here. Awesome. Wow, that looks amazing. Yeah. Wow. I've got to try the... Really? I could... Oh, look at that. that what is... Is that the... Oh, Sabianca. That's great. Classic. Where are you guys from? Poland. We landed there. Yes. Everybody was so kind. It was awesome. Good service. Very good. Uh, yes, let's have some of these. I want to try these. Did you have to try soup or oh, this? Uh, we can, let's try some soup too. So Salian. let's do that. Sal you want salyanka? And um, how many of these you want, baby? I, I just want salyanka, baby. Oh, okay. let's get two of those. I want to get two of those. Then I will take the bigger. bigger. All right, yeah. Come on, man. Yes, yes. I want to try. Well, you're going to have one. I'm going to have one. Two, yeah. Yes, sir. Do you want? Do you want to try? Not, do you like yeah, herring, baby? Salyanka, baby. Salyanka. Okay, so we will go with that, and then there's salyanka. Don't you guys also have like, if I want to do a shot of vodka, do you still do that? Of course. I would love we to do. Put, uh, Latvian as well. Oh, the moonshine! Yeah. Tell me about this stuff. It's it's it's, it's like homemade moonshine. So he made it in his basement. He made it in his basement. No, I'm just kidding. We gotta try this stuff. So this is like rocket fuel. It's from honey. It's made from, the made from honey. Yeah, it's 43 degrees, and yeah, if, if it's, I don't like it, yeah, but it's good. All right. <laughs> my yeah. grandfather makes better. Well, rooms. you know what? I what I like, my friend, is I like experiences in life. Of course. I like to experience things. This is just something different. I can get vodka anyway, anywhere. I can't get this anywhere. Yeah. What is it called? Moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. How do you say moonshine in Latvian? In Latin, we don't have like the Latin. Oh, there's no word yeah, for it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We say like Russian. It's pretty American of you. Yes. Because you but know I where they get the word moonshine from, right? Yeah. It's the, yeah. And then one soup or two soups? Uh, we're going to share one, a large one if you got one. For here is 40 cents. Take the shot before the soup. Okay, before anything, even before I eat. That's the first thing I do. And what should I say when I do it? Nastrovia. Prieka. Prieka. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is the traditional Russian soup called Stalyanka. It is amazing. It is a. Um, it's actually, it's like a tomato-based. Um, Olives. You can see, you can see the fresh olives in there. Here goes nothing. I think I just ate a lemon, and it was divine. It's very rich, so delicious. It's got a mix of some just um, perfect ingredients. Oh. Okay guys, so the first order of business is our moonshine. And the word here in Latvian, cheers, onward and upward. Prieka.
little strong, but good. Walk it over. What can you tell me about this soup? Uh, the soup yes. inside the soup is like uh, salmon, halibut, like from fish. Oh, yeah. So there's actually yeah, fish like in a, too. Yeah, only two. You do it a little differently. Yeah. Instead of using meat, you guys use yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And yeah, you will try and you will understand what inside the fish. Try this, Elianka. All right, so they, their base meat product that it is fish. We got the Baltic Sea here, guys. We're in the Baltic, so they got some really good fresh fish here. Mm. The soup is, is something. What is that? Oh, Lebanon cost. Okay. So this is like a certified bread, a natural product. Really? From okay. the Baltic and um, but so, so is that um, Latvian? Or it's from the Baltic, so it can be anywhere from, from this Baltics, region. But also well known in, in, in Slavic states. Okay, but interesting. I guess I guess the Baltic okay. states make the best kind of kvass. Okay. Oh, so that's kvass. It's kvass. So kvass, it's it's not alcoholic, or is it? No, this is that's the real stuff, that's right? The real McCoy. I, you know, I'm curious if you don't mind. So what is your name, sir? Thomas. Thomas. I'm Terry. It's nice to meet you, Thomas. Thank you. So it's pretty easy for you to get here from Poland. What is it that you find about Latvia that draws you here? We used to have a common state, which is kind of attractive. Right. Rico was one of the royal cities. How long ago was this that we're talking about? From 1520-something to 1710, I believe. And it's attractive because it looks like a mixture of the Baltic stuff and yeah. uh, and some Scandinavian, Scandinavian or German influences. Okay. What would you say before you go? One thing that people that have been here before, what would you tell them that they should do when they come here to Riga? Uh, they should definitely see the old city, which is amazing. Yeah. They should they should try some of the uh, fish specialties, which are very typical from here. They can even jog on the beach. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go check that yeah, out, Thomas. Definitely. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. It's nice to uh, speak with you. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, guys, she just got back. You guys, did you find your salmon? Yeah. Okay, she got her salmon. So now, she's official lazy on but she knows salyanka. She makes it for me all the time. She's going to try their salyanka. Ready? Here she goes. Mm. Really? Oh, she likes the Salyanka. Wow. So the difference is, when you make yours, how do you make it? What's the meat that you use? Um, you can use uh, meat, you can use sausage, uh, Okay, do you know what they use? They use fish. They make theirs with fish. They're the only ones. Look, fish soup, Salyanka. You can use fish. Um, that's why it's called Salyanka. It right. means meat soup, everything. Right. It's, Salyanka basically means the kitchen sink. I'm gonna tell you right now, that moonshine made me feel pretty good. All right. Oh, here's the fish. You can see it. Yeah. See it, guys? Mm. All right. One for you, one for me. Ready? Big. Onward and upward. Mmm. I would love to put this on a bagel. The salmon is velvety. That's how I would describe it. It is. Look at it glisten. It's amazing. And um, I don't know, what is that? A piece of lettuce and some red onion on there. On this toast. Yeah, I see. Thank you, brother. It's great to meet you. I appreciate it. I'll see you on YouTube. All right, guys. On with enough. What is that? I think it's an eel. By the way, um, the Baltics are known for herring. This is like the greatest place in the world to get herring. Yeah. Next time I come here, I'm bringing bagels with me. Bread? Look how big and brownish our Latin bread. Oh, this is how they make that kvass, guys. Look at that. Right, machine, and it just adds the... Uh... Wow. All right, 
right, guys, this is the last stop here. This is where they have all of the meat and fish. Wow. Beautiful. It's an interesting concept. The fish is marinated and braided and has uh, sesame seeds, it looks like, on it. That's so good. Look at that. It's like they put, is that garlic or like nuts on it? What is that, baby? That's garlic, I think. Wow, that looks beautiful. What is that? It's a salmon over hot smoking. Hot smoked salmon? Yeah. Fish roe. You see the fish roe, guys? All this herring. Look at the buckets of herring here. Look at that. Look at the pinkness of that meat. Baby, is this the thing? Remember I told you when I was in Brighton Beach when I was a kid? Some yeah. Russian kid was eating a fish, yeah. like on a stick. Yeah. No, no joke, no lie. He had a fish on a stick like a lollipop. And he was eating it, I said. Don't ever come near me again. That was it, right? Yeah. People just eat those like that. Yeah, with the beer. Okay. I would eat 10 beers and three moonshines to eat that. It's the real caviar right yeah. there, the real deal. So it's 60, 60 euros, that's the price? Yeah. 68, 120, finest caviar. It better be at 120 euros a pop. Baby, I think that place back there, maybe believe it or not, the meat market of all places is where you get the is where you get the shots of uh of vodka. Come on, we're gonna go have one. She won't, but I will. Alright, come on, one shot of vodka before I leave. And you see how it is guys, they have it in the uh refrigerated case back there. Here's all the bottles of vodka. And um, you just ask them, yeah, and they give you a shot. Oh. What do you recommend, baby, with all your expertise? Oh, I do you recommend, baby, with all your expertise? Finland or Finland? Is there a Latvian one? Latvian is not the best. Belarusian is the best. I'm going to take your ex expertise. Okay. Mine is also from Belarus. Ah. They make good vodka in Belarus, huh? What is this vodka made from? Is it grain? I don't know. I'm not drinking vodka. Okay. I am. I don't know where don't know where it's up. Okay, that's okay. I have to ask. It's my job. Okay, you ready guys? Hold on. So if it's from Belarus, what do they say when they drink? What do they say when they drink? На здоровье. На здоровье. На здоровье. Well, guys, they're closing shop here. Yeah, they close pretty early, around 5 p.m. And um, I think all work is done here. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Riga's Central Market. Till next time, from the Central Market, the largest market in all of Europe. This is the Barefoot Vlogger and. Blogger. saying stay well and stay safe and stay tuned mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.